Hello, ladies and germs, it is Joker here once again with a redstone tutorial, and this one is on storage. So, I'm going to jump straight into it. Now, you see, I have these redstone blocks set up. Uh, these are stopping items going into the hoppers. All these chests are full. So, this is, I do believe, Impulse SV's design. Um, this also has the same issue that if all these chests, all the hoppers are filled up, that when you break this block, everything will start going in. But the second that one fills up with 64 items, it's going to move over and trigger that one just like that, which means everything starts flowing into there. Look, messes up all of your item filter. Look, the item items from there have gone they're now all in there like totally just messed up your storage here is the old version of uh impulse svs and same again look you can see everything is absolutely chocolate and absolutely rammed i've even got more items in here and the same thing will happen bang right there straight away and now that's now going to mess up all of the item filters as you can see that one is now emptying and it shouldn't there's the oak planks which shouldn't be in there because we've got spruce in there so yeah so this system that i'm about to show you is actually called a snake system this is an overflow protection again these chests are completely full just like the other two examples but if i remove that there's your item filter if I remove that block, everything will start to flow in into that hopper. But thankfully, because this has an item overflow system, when this fills up, it will not affect the next one. And it'll go, oh, okay, so I'm completely full now. I can't do anything, so what do I do now? It will empty those items into a... Uh, your bin chest or at least what is your bin chest so yeah and this like all of them they do not connect with each other at all so that there is no worries about things like getting lost or stuff look, look even that one look 64 four birch planks because everything's filled up so birch would go into there now because it's completely filled or if you've got a lava trap or something like that so Enough of me rambling. Let's get on with today's tutorial. Okay, so what you area you are going to need at least from wherever your first chest is going to be eight blocks because it is exactly eight blocks. Height wise, it all depends on what you are having, like how many chests. We're only going to do three chests, and the items that you will need for. Uh, the first slice is only two repeaters, one comparator, one redstone torch, and four redstone dust. You will also need blocks of your choice, which I put in the other chest by mistake. So, if I go ahead and place down our chests like a sir, and we'll just do three for now, just to make it easy, then you want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three. Place down a temporary block on top of this chest. And then make sure that this one is facing out, not in. Because an old system used to actually use that. So this slice is going on the back of this first hopper that goes into this chest. Because we want to read this comparator. Uh, this hopper even so you place down your comparator there go block there and a block up and a block up again and i th think it's one more oops yeah it is three blocks with redstone dust on top there you want to place down a torch there then come underneath place one two you can remove that block and that block. Place down redstone dust just there. 
place in a block here and here you want to go redstone repeater there then where these two blocks are you want to place two more just there break that and that out you then when want redstone dust just there and a repeater there facing back into this first comparator and that is the first slice done and you can make as many of these as you want to but you can't obviously build this one right next to it we now need another slice okay so for the next piece of you're going to need one redstone torch one comparator two redstone repeaters and two redstone dust this one is actually a lot simpler to build so the first thing you want to do is place a block just here and then a block on top of it there place a block here next to the repeater put down your comparator then you want to place a block here block here and one just there actually leave that block in you're going to need it place a block there and there place a temporary block here and here now knock this block and this block out and this block ready so we go redstone here on the two end ones come where this redstone dust ends and place a repeater which will give you a signal into here place a redstone torch on the other side of the block facing into those and then place down a repeater and there you have it that is literally all it is for the system and now you can go ahead and build this a thousand times if you wanted to as long as you alternate each side i'll just do them both one more time just to show you so there are your comparators remember you want a temporary block on top of that chest with a hopper going into it so uh, here you want to crouch place against that repeater put your comparator you want to place a block here block up and then come up so you have three redstone dust redstone dust and redstone dust place a torch there come underneath place down two blocks remove that one and that one you want to go redstone dust place a block here repeater knock that block out and go like that and like that you can actually use the other circuit there to help you place down your redstone and your repeater and done and to just do the other one hopper 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 and then again block 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 there comparator block up two down place a block here miss a block place another block then you want to do like a star pattern just here and here remove this block this block and this block place it in your redstone on these two go redstone repeater there torch on the other side of that block and one more repeater and no matter how many items that you put in this system it will always function the way it's designed uh, so of course you would then have your input hoppers go in like so and your output there or wherever you wanted it because you could then just run that wherever and no matter how many uh, items you put through the system it will not overflow uh, what i tend to do is use sticks as my filler because they're nice and easy to make if i can even find sticks because it's the one item on here i don't usually use and then all you have to do is these last four slots just put one in each not 16 not 12 you can put more in if you really want to um but as long as you've got one in all four of those spots 
you can literally just fill up this as long as I don't put the sticks in there. And so that's like I said, now with that one. So we're now we're going to wait until that one's going through. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. This one should trigger in a moment. In a moment. Come on. Okay, we'll just remove them. There you go. So there you go. That's now saying it's redstone torches. That one is now saying it's redstone comparators. And that one's now saying repeaters. And it will never change. It will never over. If it does overflow, it's not going to mess up your item sorters. It's literally set it and forget it. It is absolutely fan task doobity only. Now, I cannot give credit to anybody for this design because I don't remember who I originally saw having it. And many different people have this uh, similar designs um, on the same principle. So anyway, ladies and germs, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. And I'll have more tutorials for you every Tuesday. Okay, I've been Joker, and I will see you in a mini money mo. That's all for now.